Good morning, everyone. Our priest intention for today's Mass is for Lou Samaski by Saul Samaski. Samaska, sorry. And as always, please remember to silence your cell phones today. Thank you.
Good morning, everyone. As we gather this morning to celebrate the sacred mysteries of God's love, let us take a moment now to come into the Father's presence, and we ask Him to grace us with His mercy and His forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. O God, whose Son humbled himself and took the form of a slave to redeem the human race from being captive to sin, Grant to your servants held in confinement that they may obtain the freedom you disdain to all. For we are your sons and daughters, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is fitting among the holy ones. No obscenity or silly or suggestive talk, which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person that is an an adulterer, idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. Believe like God as his dear, very dear children. Believe like God as his dear children. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Behave like children, dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Believe like God as his very dear children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Behave like God as his very dear children.
Ah, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Ah, reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in his synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. And she went over completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called her and said, woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, there are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath. The Lord said to him in reply, hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, Ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he had said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning is very encouraging to all of us, encouraging us all to live, to live in the light of Christ, not in the darkness. And by imitating Christ, he says, we will live in that light. Jesus gave us that example today of a woman held in captivity. It doesn't say what bounded her in that captivity. What are some of the things that keep us from being thy children of light? What are some of the things that keep me in captivity, allowing me to express the freedom that Paul talks about today? Yes, the Lord not only frees us on the Sabbath, he frees us every day as we go about his vineyard, working and proclaiming his good deeds. So it's a good way, I guess you could say, <clears throat> to begin a week. Maybe asking ourselves, what are those things that hold me captive? and to work on them during this whole week and offering them up to the Lord, that the Lord will release us from the bondages that held this women captive today. Release us and let us become children of light and to become free. May God be blessed. <clears throat> Thank you.
Let us take a moment in prayer this morning to lift up our own particular needs. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers which we place before you this day. We ask you to grant them if they be your will. We pray this as we pray all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through the saving sacrament of human redemption, which we offer you, Lord, grant that your servants may be released from captivity and rejoice in lasting freedom of soul through Christ our Lord. My friends, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to us in memory of me. And the mystery of faith. Save us. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks 
You've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep on the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. <clears throat> Come on earth as it is in heaven. Trespass against us. It's not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity according to your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's all have a blessed day. Behold the Lamb of God, that who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
And let us pray our prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Though I cannot now receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, and I am myself holy to you. Amen. And let us pray. Mindful of the price paid for our deliverance, we implore your mercy, O Lord, upon our brothers and sisters, that they may be released from captivity and become servants of your justice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our prayer for the canonization of Father Brisson. Lord Jesus, you have told us, ask and you shall receive. We address our prayer to you through the intercession of your priest, Louis Brisson, attentive to the signs of the times and obedience to your will. He founded the double fam of the Oblate Sisters and the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales. Confident in your providence and joyful in hope, he knew as a good father how to make himself all things to all people. Grant us through his intercession the favors which we ask of you especially. May the Holy Church and glorify this priest after your own heart who gave himself totally to your love. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God, bless each and every one of us today and always as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace glorifying the Lord by our lives. Have a blessed day, everyone. And pray today in a special way. The church in the United States received a new cardinal this morning. Archbishop Wilton Gregory of Washington, D.C. will now be Cardinal Gregory. So we can pray for him in a special way. And just in case you're wondering, we still are live streaming Mass. That's the camera up there on the wall. So wave to the camera. Just because the camera ain't there anymore, we're still live streaming. We had it installed up there on the wall. Have a good day. <laughs>